Let's take a quick look how we can make easy gradients on 3D objects in Substance Painter. If you've previously tried to do that with the gradient generator and lost the world to live, perhaps this is a much easier approach for you. So I'm going to delete the first paint layer that comes in by default and get myself, make myself a new fill layer here. And we don't really need any of the other channels, I'm just going to stick with color and make this, give this a color, make it sort of a little bit red. And then we're going to go and make another fill layer. And we're going to do the same thing. Alt, select that channel. And then I'm going to go and make it a different color, maybe something like blue, like so. And let's say we wanted to have a soft gradient between these two things. What you do is rather than faff around with generators, you select the top layer. And then here under properties, under UV projection, you're going to select planar selection so not triplanar that'll be from all three sides planar is just from one side and when you do that this cage comes up and that's sort of the magic to it all if you go and move this over here now you'll see that eventually the second layer will shine through and it'll give us that soft gradient here on the side so in my case i want to make a soft gradient from the top to the bottom so all i have to do then is go and rotate this thing around with the E key or you click this button here, you can left click and drag the cube around so that the projection only happens from one side. So W switches me to this manipulator, just basically these things, the W, E and R. And uh, now I can go and position my cube so that I get that soft gradient. So let's say the red thing is a physics simulation and the top thing, the blue thing is not. So position it and then to adjust how steep the gradient is so how much this will dissolve from one color to the other that is basically the, the under depth culling here that's the hardness hardness of one means it's a complete straight line there's no gradient at all it's just a it just stops one and starts the other and then a hardness of zero means it's as soft as it can possibly be so this is very nice and I've just discovered this tip and I thought this is actually much, much easier than to use anything else. So as I said, this is something I use for physics weight maps in Character Creator and iClone. If I needed that, you can go and combine this with masks, of course. Yeah, but that is basically it. Under projection, you set this to planar projection and then you turn the cage around depending on where you'd like to project this from and just make sure everything gets engulfed in this in this thing. That's it. Quick tip. I hope this was helpful. Have fun making gradients and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.